Hi guys, it's another beautiful day once again and you're here back at Dexter's World Channel. today we are going to talk about quail again and we are so happy that our previous videos have sparked a lot of discussion about how to maintain a quail farm I told you that the secret of success for this farm is cleanliness right kind of food and of course the water with vitamins now today we are going to witness how we gonna harvest again the thousands of eggs that was laid last night take note these eggs have been laid only last night and you will see that there are thousands of eggs down here you will see that these eggs are really fresh from the layers if you will touch some of them they're still warm because these eggs have just been laid a few minutes ago you will notice that these layers will start laying eggs at 10 o'clock in the morning until 12 midnight they are laying eggs after you will feed them their eggs will start to roll down plenty of eggs that are rolling down and you can see that these are now the result well of course your cage must be inclined so that the moment they lay eggs the eggs will just roll and it's easy for us to collect One of the things that we do is to prevent them from being run short of water because if they will run short of water then of course the feather picking activity will really occur meaning that they will pick the feathers of each other which will result to baldness of some quails so the water is really that important and also we would like to stress it out that we have to maintain vitamins and I already have shown what vitamins we have used in this farm in the previous video that we have. So this is the result of the feather picking. This should be prevented. But of course, you cannot make it 100% because from time to time, they're really fun of picking the feathers of each other. But we have to minimize this one by way of providing them with enough food and enough water. So it's feeding time and this is the breakfast I'm gonna feed them now and they are all excited to eat their breakfast now so they will start eating now and they are so hungry this feed will be consumed at 10 o'clock today. The next feeding will be this afternoon. So you will see them that they are really fat and conditioned. Well, another issue that had been raised by one of our subscribers is that the cage is too small for them, too short for these birds. Well, I have to disagree because if we provide them with a high cage, the egg production will really not as effective as providing them with a very low cage. Because if we will place them in a high cage, they will keep on flying, they will have so many activities that you will really become failure if these things occur. So this is the reason why we have provided only with short cages. And then 
many of us, Dexter, why are you doing these things? I am not gaining so much about this, but what I am looking at is to help alleviate the malnutrition of our children here in our country. Because our country has been facing issues about malnutrition and by way of addressing to the problem in my own little way, I have decided to just breed a squirrel and sell this to the school children during school days and they will eat this one. They can just buy this at a very low price, very affordable and this will now solve the malnutrition of our children, the Filipino children. that one egg has soft shell maybe you will ask Dexter what's the reason for this soft shell egg this is the result of a stress layer maybe one of the layers had been very stressed to produce an egg with a soft shell by the way I have to make a distinction between these eggs this soft shell is the cause of stress and this egg that has lesser spots compared to this one is the result of immaturity of the breeders meaning the layer is not that fully matured to lay their eggs but as soon as they get matured they will develop an eggs like this one so these eggs are the eggs that are perfect that is really very healthy and nutritious to eat so we will try to eat this one and many said this contains high cholesterol well you can make a research on this because there are sites also that promotes the eating of this because this contains low cholesterol I don't know but I am eating eggs more than 10 eggs a day and it gives me a healthy condition you can just eat this fresh Very delicious egg of quail. And guys, let me tell you that this quail will lay eggs only up to the age of one year. So meaning that after one year, we have to start culling them if they are not any more productive, we will be forced to cull them and to produce meat out of the slayer quails. Six quails will weigh one kilo and we are producing a lot of meat and we are selling this to the supermarkets and even to the restaurants. And that's the business also of quail meat. After one year, you can already produce the quail meat, which is also very nutritious and delicious. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, one thousand eggs. Yes, these eggs are just fresh from the farm, and this one thousand eggs are easy to produce and very easy to sell. out of this farm we were able also to generate income for the people because the people on the streets the vendors are coming here and they will buy this one this egg at one peso and 50 centavos they will cook this one and once this is cooked 
they will sell this at 4 pesos each. So you will imagine that each egg they will earn 2 pesos and 50 centavos. And if they can sell 100 pieces, they are expected to earn 250 pesos for 100 eggs. And that's pretty enough to buy for their basic needs. I am always thankful to you guys, to our followers and viewers. And if you are new to our channel, I'd like to humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our upcoming videos. Very informative videos only here at Dexter's World!